I looked at the Feldenkrais method from the very beginning through the lens of my work as an artist. I did not, even though I had pain and the work definitely helped me understand my relationship to my pain and helped reduce my pain, it seemed to me when I read his words that he was speaking to performers. When he speaks about spontaneity, when, when Moshe talks about our ability to be able to be fully realized in our manifestations, these to me are all aspects of the creative act because you can't be creative if you're not working with yourself in the moment. When he speaks about making your actions congruent with your intention. I go to acting class, right? When we were in acting class and we were taught that, uh, and, and this is more traditional Stanislavski-like or even Lee Strasberg-like activity, you had an action and an objective and the actor had to find the action to realize the objective in the scene. So when Moshe said, you have to make your actions congruent with your intention, I was like, well, that's actions and objectives. That's exactly the same idea. He, when he talks about choices, that we are always supposed to have at least three choices. Any performer will tell you that when they're rehearsing, they're like, well, let's try it this way. Well, let's try it that way. Let's, no, that, that didn't work on stage. Let's try another way. So to me, the idea of embodying choice is part of the creative process. What I love about the Feldenkrais method <clears throat> is that I don't have to sit there and go, hmm, how do I develop choice in myself? How can I become more spontaneous? All I have to do is lie down on the floor and begin to start to pay attention to what's taking place inside of myself. There's some kind of alchemy that happens in a Feldenkrais lesson that by becoming more organized within my body, my thoughts become more organized. And all of a sudden I go, oh, I know how to solve that scene. Or what about this choreographic idea? It kind of appears because my parts are more unified. When I'm just living in my head, trying to analyze, well, what's the next chapter about? Or, or how do I... How do I communicate this particular character if I'm just up in here or if I'm just throwing myself around, it doesn't come together. But there's something about the process of awareness through movement, whether it's sticking with Moshe Feldenkrais's lessons or it's actually taking, you know, just the ideas for myself that, that transforms a person into being able to be creative, spontaneous, and present. <laughs>